Welcome, surfers. Now, this is just going to be some bonus material for the week, the surf week of November 3rd through the 9th, which I've already done an energy report for. So I'm going to put those notes, that link down in the show notes. And I recommend go and see that if you haven't seen it already. This, may, this video is mainly for just administrative stuff, maybe getting some advice from you guys, talking about how evidence, hard evidence that we're being shadow banned. I don't know, that shouldn't be too much of a surprise, but I'll show you the evidence that I have. And I'm not going to sit here and complain or anything like that. The main thing is I want to respond to some of the comments. Um, and because of the way that this, um, these accounts are being shadow banned, um, I have some ideas on the workaround. For example, um, I had views today, uh, roughly about two, at least 200 views. And I don't want to make it sound like I'm complaining. I'm not making money from this. In fact, that's another point that I forgot to list down is if you're getting the requirement to watch videos, I want you to know that I'm not monetized on YouTube. I've made four cents on Rumble. Still, I'm not in it for the money. I'm not in it for the fame. Just my service to humanity in this form and uh, learning as I go too. On, at least on all accounts, social media, broadcasting, uh, and then how bad the technocrats are, big big tech. So, for example, I've lost so, a lot of views. I'll show that to you. And then um, we, we're losing comments. So we have indicated, like, uh, for example, I think it was 17 comments in the latest video. But I have looked into the settings and there's only like 11 comments, only 11 showing that I can read. Had another person uh, write on Facebook, found us on Facebook. She made her comment there saying, hey, this is the only place I can comment because every time I try to comment, it, uh, it blows up. Now that's not just YouTube either. It's over on Rumble. People are um, complaining that they submit a comment and poof, it goes nowhere and deleted. And so, sorry, no comment. Um, I don't know. I just, I'd be shocked if, if Rumble is shadow banning. That might just be a technology glitch. Who knows? But I know YouTube is. And I'll show you that here going forward. First of all, let's uh, let's cage each other. Uh, right now, it's uh, at the time of this recording, three sixteen. PM in central standard st daylight savings time. The last day, last uh, la about a day and a half until we all change our stupid clocks again around here. And uh, so how's, how's everybody doing in terms of the water signs? You know, the last two days we've had, um, We've had all these planets in Scorpio and in Pisces. You know, that's uh, six, and call it seven if we include the south node, uh, which is not a planet, but a point, and um, a very important point, by the way. So seven spots that are in water. So have you guys felt a lot of extra emotion recently? I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the emotion out there and it really is affecting the dynamics of every interpersonal relationship. Um, so, sorry, I'm trying to prevent a sneeze. I kind of sound stuffed up, but I'm not. I don't know what happened. I just got done working out. So maybe uh, some allergies in the air. We're waiting for a storm to come in here and oh, starting within an hour, but tonight's the big, the big one. All right. So I wanted to go into the comments now and I'm going to start in relation to how I submitted these. We're going to talk all, all about the recent reports. So these, this one is the, um, the part one 
This is uh, last last time, as promised, I wanted to talk about these comments. And this is an example of 11, there's set, it says 11 comments, but there's only 10 here. And that includes counting all these replies, which are, there are five of them. So where's the extra uh, comment? You can't find anywhere. I went into the settings and made sure that show all didn't matter. Um, I looked for um, any moderated comments. Like, why are they telling me I have 11 when there's really only 10, at least showing? Why are they only showing 10 if there's 11? Is, are the people who are being hidden, are they shadow banned or am I being shadow banned? Because if the, if it's the latter, then no wonder we're, um, we're, you know, slowly growing instead of leaps and bounds growing, um, just based on how much you guys are sharing these videos all the likes that we're getting, all the comments, all the favorable feedback that we're getting. Um, droves of people coming in, at least this uh, eclipse season. So if if it's you guys that are new here, I wanted to welcome you as well. Anyway, let's get into these comments. And I'm going to show you as we go, each video, I'll show you the views that we're supposed to have. And then I'll explain a little bit of that. But for now, let's talk about the comments on part one. Um, not for me to say is something that he already won for. So we've already read that. Thank you. Not for me to say. And uh, we'll be reading some more from him as well in, in future uh, videos. Shelly says, grateful for your content you bring in these videos. Your messages bring guidance on how to navigate these pressure cooker times. That's a great term that I haven't, haven't used in a while, but that is very appropriate for the energies, especially that T square over Saturn. That is a massive pressure cooker. Um, well said, Shelly. And Ravi says, thank you. Now moving on to part two. I think we feel a sense of heaviness for what is to come. But I look at the joy that will come after the shitstorm passes. I, 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 I tend to agree. Um, I'm ready to go through these hard times in order for the age of Aquarius to unfold. And uh, I think a lot of you agree. Milos, always good to see you commenting there. Um, and I hope everything's going over well where you are, or at least improving. So that that covers uh, that video. Let's, let's go to the next one, but I got to do some clicking here. All right. There's part two, and um, probably should have mentioned the the subscriptions have gone up. We are within, um, I think, uh, almost 60 people, 60 subscribers until we hit 2,000 subscribers. That's, that's huge. And um, thanks in a large part by PIR and, and all the referrals that were brought over during uh, when Phoenix was not banned from YouTube. And um, we had a great connection going. But um, I think I'm, I don't know, this channel seems to be following in suit with Phoenix's issues over at YouTube. So I don't know. We'll talk about that here shortly. But anyway, we're real close to 2000. And so uh, welcome all you new folks. John Doe, says, I'm so excited about the second report. Always hope for more of your content. Yeah, and by the way, John, it really brings up a good point is my intention is to put more material out. And um, got to have massive ideas, uh, make some little miniature reports, maybe on important days or important things that I'm noticing in the stars. I'm... Um, but I was initially wanting to start looking forward. I'm ruled by Uranus. I'm an Aquarian, Gemini, Gemini. So I have this massive look into the future, just constant. And not that it's always right. And the more that I make predictions, um, the more I realize that I have some 
t- some honing t- to go, but I, I can't help my mind going into the future. So that's where I wanted to go. And um, something is calling me to look day by day. And that's hard for me to do because I'm in the future. So day by day astrology. And uh, if I do something along those lines day by day, it probably won't be every single day. I won't make that commitment because I am so busy. So anyway, let's continue. I await Wednesday like a child waiting for Christmas. I sometimes re-watch the report because I don't watch anything else. Well, gosh, thank you. Thank you for the extra extra time you shared with me. Us, It's greatly appreciated. Love, light, and always respect, liked, and shared. Thank you. I'm humbled. Namaste, John. Just another quantum wave function says, I greatly appreciate this extra report, especially for a newbie. Thank you. And thank you for being here. And I love the handle name. I think I already told you that. Anita says, thank you, Chris. This is uh, very new to me. So we have a lot of new folks here. And to all of you, including Anita's um, hope that I'm pronouncing that name right. Um, But welcome. This is a this is a tribe. And we do support each other, but it's very important to know that I am honoring free will uh, and I'm honoring free thought. And so if you your views don't agree with mine, I love that. We need more of that. We need more bouncing around ideas and open-mindedness and accepting other people's thoughts and opinions this age is sort of, I called it a very temporary time because I know that pendulum is going to swing, but we got everybody so sensitive to other people's words. It's ridiculous. So let's not be so sensitive. I mean, we're, we're kind and wonderful people and loving and compassionate, but continue to develop a thick skin, toughen up and just bring me, bring me you. Bring me your opinions, and I don't have to agree with mine. Uh, Milo says, I wish you good luck on November 8th. I hope the reason and peace will prevail. And thank you, Milo. That's um, the day that the elections are, are held. So if we have any premonition from Brazil or any warning signs from Brazil or maybe warning signs from 2020 election that still hasn't been resolved. Um, yeah, I, the, the closer we get here, the more I'm sure all of us are going to be get real anxious, not in fear of losing the election, but in fear of it's manipulated and played. We've been playing. How many years have we been played? Maybe since the beginning. Who knows? I don't know. Not for me to say, says, thanks for preparing us for the days ahead. Well, you're welcome. Shelly, you're my new favorite. Mm. Thank you. I'm humbled. Blessings. That is very powerful to hear. Not that I need that. I want to make sure that's clear. I don't need compliments, but it sure does feel good. So thanks, Shelly. The, me- the messages are powerful. We just need to tap in. I agree, and that's why I'm really continuing to try to uh, foster an environment where you can give me critiques, criticism, um, so that we can hone this thing even more, more accurate, deeper levels, and bring that power to you guys so so that we can act in accordance with the energy and really synchronize it, get in resonance. Uh, So that's the goal. Thanks, Shelly. Ravi says, this is crazy. I'm feeling the shit really hit the fan in November. Uh, And you're not alone. (sighs) I'm sure of it. As for details go, it feels like it has been blocked out of my view. The trees here said, and I quote, we are about to hibernate and we will come back to a new world. Honor that. Honor that. I couldn't talk about the trees in, in our backyard. Interesting things going on there. Um, anyway, I am glad to be a part of the community of awakened and wise folks here, and we're grateful to have you with us, Robbie. Thank you, Milos. Um, thanks part two and Pam, 
Is that you, Terry? All right, next. Do, 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 do. Let's put this away and bring in the most current video. And by the way, I do, I have a limit on the back side of this, have some more sessions this afternoon to get to. But uh, in the meantime, I'm talking to you all. And by the way, I did try to do a, you, maybe some of you noticed that I tried to do a live stream on Rumble just to test it out. And what I found was I didn't get anywhere. What I was going to do is do a live Rumble while I recorded this, but the software that I use is OBS and I have to put the information from Rumble into OBS, which right now has YouTube. So that sucks because I was going to plan on doing live streams, YouTube and Rumble at the same time. Maybe there's a way that I can do that, but I think I need streaming software, which for me is OBS. Now I can go learn another streaming software, I guess, and try that out. But it's not like I do a lot of lives. <laughs> I I want to. I really want to. Um, I'll go ahead and talk about this one. This is the most recent. This is our Great Implosion videos, most recent surf report. Includes the total lunar eclipse, and this is the November 3rd through 9th video. So, not for me to say, has six ups already. Look at that as I scroll through. And by the way, here are 17 comments, and you can count them out. They're only showing 11. Well, let's count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're only showing eight and there's no replies. They're showing eight comments, even though there's 17 comments. What the heck is that? Um, so uh, if, if you're one, it's really important. If you're one of those who commented on this and it's not showing, I want you to go. The, the only thing I know of, since you can't go to Rumble, they, they drop comments there too. So I would go over to Facebook, National Dream Center, find this video, because I'll post it there, and comment below that, hey, I'm one of those comments that's not being shown on, on YouTube. I want to see if maybe there's, there's bots, maybe that they've found that they're automatically hiding. Well, then why, how would it, why are they counting that as a comment then? I don't know. Makes no sense. So not for me to say as six ups. And, um, I mean, if you haven't voted already for your com your favorite comment for the week, you can go do that now because we have until next Wednesday for that. But not for me to say is in the lead right now. I think it has already begun in terms, you know, he's saying the great implosion, I think is what he's referring to. It's already, already begun. I'm hoping and praying the surf fa family is kept safe from any potential negative and rewarded with the positive goodness that will prevail. Absolutely. Well said. And um, we might be seeing this comment again. Uh, we can read more from Ravi. Uh, thank you for your story. About six months ago, I suddenly became unable to drink coffee and more than one alcoholic beverage per day. We're talking about the story about how your tastes are changing. My taste of music was just full reversal into, I didn't even know the genres where I ended up in. So, uh, but I'm grateful because I've found some really great genres since that time. And, uh, and since that time, I tried to go back my take my music back to my same Pandora mix eclectic group and same things. Just, it's like, it's not ill. It's just, ugh, it's just st stale old. And, uh, maybe it's just, I'm ruled by Uranus and this is a, a big time right now. The energies are focusing more on, on Uranus be right over Uranus. So maybe that's all it is. But, um, uh, Anyway, Robbie says, my body just re rejected coffee. Music is a big part of my life. I find that certain songs no longer resonate with me. So hers is not genres, but more of specific songs. Now, I've had that happen to me a lot in the past. But um, anyway, and I just thought I was weird. No, I don't think so. I think we do have changing tastes, but especially this time. 
And I think it's going to go on hyperdrive. This phenomenon of just uh, sudden changes of, of likes, passions, uh, uh, hopefully the past gets severed. And this is during the eclipse, as I mentioned. Uh, I'm keeping my excitement for this upcoming week tempered. While I know we are all somewhat awakened here, there are still many that are not, and I'm feeling their sadness and shock over what is to come. Yeah, uh, I think this process, I, I think um, I don't know, from a lot of different standpoints, if, if there is sort of a grand plan, it's all movie and all that, well, I would think that you can't do this just quickly because any, any too quick of a change gets immediate resistance. And we talked a little bit about that with homeostasis. And so a little bit at a time and slowly, if you think about all this programming, which probably constitutes, I don't know, maybe 95% of our reality or what we've been told, maybe higher, maybe lower, but, um, to just shatter those each individual house of of glass with each individual has their worldview and is a it's a house of glass and people want to protect their worldview because it doesn't feel good to have their house shatter their beliefs shattered their beliefs are uh, what they thought was real and true and and so that's going to be psychosis guaranteed. For a lot of people, especially the ones who have real fragile glass houses. And so it sort of does make sense that it's not just going to unfold and magically cure itself overnight because that would be too shocking. But let's get the move on. You know, a lot of us are ready. I mean, most of us are ready. Ray says karmic balance. Yes. Confidence comes with a positive attitude and happiness comes to those who are sad. Fulfillment comes with a feeling called gratitude in appreciating all that you had. And for all your struggle, there's reward. And for all your tears, there's security. As your life flows from extreme to extreme, seeking out impurities. Whew. I love these... Uh, these very thoughtful prose and poems and maybe their lyrics for music. Regardless, thanks, Ray. I really appreciate you putting those in there. I don't know if you keep a journal and then just copy and paste these in there or if these um, created for that particular time, you basically channel this poem out. Either way, it's beautiful. Seeking out impurities, interesting, is that something that I've been doing uh, in earnest in this sort of getting in between eclipses phase. Uh, I've been doing some heavy metal detox and uh, been using some apple cider vinegar. But do you know there is a disadvantage? I found, I found some disadvantages of apple cider vinegar. I did that. I started that because of the you know, positive effect it has on your immune function of energy, of pH balance, et cetera, et cetera. So I started doing that and um, noticed that, first of all, my teeth got really sensitive. So I had to create a remineralization protocol so that my teeth weren't decaying. And then I started to notice that it was having a big effect on my throat. <clears throat> and it's been a few days since I stopped, but uh, some phlegm has returned, but it was a hundred percent sure that it was the apple cider vinegar just sitting in my esophagus, just sort of basically burning it. And the mucus was coming in and trying to coat that over and trying to heal it, the damage. So be cautious of apple cider vinegar. It doesn't mean you can't do it. I don't, but I was doing it every day, sometimes two times a day, one tablespoon in a 12 ounce glass of water. Didn't think anything of it, but those two things, teeth and esophagus and mucus, um, just moderate it. I'm thinking maybe, uh, one, when I do it, uh, in the future, it's going to be one day or two days tops, maybe three days per week and certainly not two times a day. So 
Do any of you use apple cider vinegar? And by the way, I don't put out health information, but um, but these are things that you can research and try. The other thing that I started was called a niacin sauna. And this is directly impacting, according to what I've researched, it's directly helping to bind to the heavy metals that like aluminum, mercury, and all the rest too. And you can't just like target, I don't think you can just target the bad metals, quote unquote bad metals, or at least the metals that are very high on the risk level, like mercury, aluminum, um, because it just binds to metals. This is my understanding too. If you guys know better, comment below or go to Facebook if your comments get deleted and comment there. But um, if it's going to bind to any aluminum or mercury, it's also going to bind to your calcium, magnesium, blah, 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 all the healthy minerals as well, and it's going to cart those out of your body. So I'm using, I have, first of all, why am I doing this? Because I have uh, almost uh, half a lifetime of vaccine protocols from the military, including anthrax. So I got a lot of metals in my body. And um, of course, I don't, I haven't had any recently, but those metals stay in there unless you get them out. So in this case, it was a B3 powder form in water. Get the big old red flush, even though it's called non-flush niacin. And, uh, and then you head out into the sauna, about 170 degrees, dry sauna. Put water on there and sweat it all out. Try and stay in there as long as you can. I try to stay in there for at least 20 minutes because the... The research shows that the rule of thumb is 170 degrees for 20 minutes, four times a week, boost your longevity by five to 10 years in all disease categories. Thank you very much. So even if you don't do the niacin flush, the sweating thing opens up the detox centers of the body and there's other ways to detox as well like fasting wonderful autophagy eating your own toxins for energy are you serious this is free free stuff some of the best healthiest stuff for the human species is free the sunshine fresh air if you have fresh air anymore they're poisoning us poisoning the water but I digress. Thanks, Ray. And then Shay says, some um, same happening to me, losing interest in sensual pleasures that have been satisfying for the last four decades, especially music and relationships. And that's one thing that's very interesting. I see the relationships changing with my clients. And um, it's very obvious what's happening. And it's that Venus, that weakened Venus, weakened in Scorpio, weakened when, with combust, and it's opposing Uranus, so it's just change. Uh, this eclipse is exactly conjunct my north node in Taurus, seventh house. I also have a stellium in Scorpio. And man, you have a spitting image of what's coming on the eighth, uh, other than Uranus. You're missing the Uranus piece. Probably a good thing, though. Well, that'd be massive change. I have been anticipating this time period for the last year, as I know it would be huge. Uh, so you're a researcher of your own charts, and I think that's very, very wise. Thank you for sharing your work knowledge and interpretations. I appreciate that, Shay. And, um, you know, I can see... I don't know, maybe a group on Facebook, maybe make that National Dream Center page on Facebook, maybe make it more of a group and and we can talk about these individual uh, alignments and maybe because uh, we have some really knowledgeable astrology minded folks, both sidereal and tropical in our surf uh, tribe. So why not? You know, what do you guys think of that? Having like a group, a Facebook group, and we can talk back and forth and post things and whatnot. 
uh, Komai Chronicles. That's a pretty cool, I, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but we're letting go of what no longer serves us. Yeah. I, yeah. Is it a choice that we have or is it being done for us? You know, because ego might be holding on to things that feel good or or whatever, or have felt good. And so you can become addicted to it and not know that it's not serving you anymore. So I think that you got to, uh, escape life less right now, very much right now. And if you live more in the moment in this time frame as we lead up to this eclipse, I think that you can, um, you can read you can really feel with a good high level of intuition. Intuition is a knowing in the chest slash sacral area, solar plexus area, just below the rib cage area, at least for me. That's where I feel this intuition the strongest. But you know there's just not, it's not right for you. And this is a time where especially Uranus can be giving you those insights and making sure that you're not coming at these decisions from here. And this is very human design as well. Human design says nobody should be making decisions up here. You should be using your inner authority. And so letting go of what no longer serves us, it sounds so simple, but this is really complex. Um, and a lot of, for a lot of us, it's just a temporary loss of, uh, pleasure maybe in, in some things and we'll return back to it, but hopefully we'll have a, uh, you continue to honor your inner authority or your intuition to show you, is this still right for me? Even after the storm blows over and we're going back to old ways, that's a great time to reassess as you do that activity that you so loved in the past, you're doing it again, maybe just out of habit or maybe out of ego want, you can still feel whether or not it's right for you. And if it's not, you always have that chance. You always have that opportunity to let go of that thing that's no longer serving you. Also, keep in mind, whoops, Angie just wrote, <laughs> um, Keep in mind that the opposite might be true. You have ego that wants certain things, maybe it's things that are pleasurable, wants to avoid pain. But what if there's something in your experience that's not pleasant to ego, but is required or desired by your higher self or uh, God or w whatever higher being it is in your life? Are you going to be letting go of something that is serving you, even though it doesn't feel good? Mm, good questions, eh? Maybe not. So again, even on things that don't feel good, um, some of these require you to actually get stronger, hone your skills, learn more, um, and expunge the karma through the experience of that crappy thing, right? But not all of them. Some you can avoid and just decide to let go. But make sure it's not just ego escaping, okay? Uh, there's an there's a interesting book called Spiritual Bypassing. And it's more along the lines for either people in religious communities or spiritual communities or meditation, any sort of thing, prayer, anything that's very spiritual, going to church, going to the synagogue, uh, praying, can be used as an escape from some emotions. I mean, anything can be an escape. So anyway, I don't want to drone on too long. I have only about seven minutes. So uh, Laura says your calm voice is a good thing. Well, thank you. I, you know how you listen to your own voice and it is just, yeah, it, it's awful listening to your own. That's how I am. And so thank you. I appreciate that. YouTube 
1984 says thank you plus first. <laughs> That's awesome. And no one you know says, I can think of a number of entity structures in this world that are desperately need to implode. Um, just hope I'm not going to be one of them. I have been feeling a very strong urge and fighting it successfully so far to burn some bridges in a particular, in a spectacular manner. So I'm assuming burning bridges with interpersonal and there's your Venus oppose uh, Uranus. Venus over the south node oppose Uranus in the north node. Staying frosty is a hard thing to ask for this hot-blooded Leo, but I'm trying to keep the thermostat under control. I had no idea you were a Leo. Well, yeah. All right. So great comments there. And now one more thing in terms of comments goes... Nope. Wanted to show this real quick. Dink. All right. So what had happened was I had put put our latest video up on uh, Before It's News. I don't know if a lot of you have been there or not. But um, right now there's only 12 people. This is live right now. Uh, there's only 12 people there. Uh, not, not that I'm complaining. Um, this actually did pretty well. It was going up to, um, I got a snapshot of it, the Great Implosion. There was 63 people there. It got up to like 75. It got up pretty high on the list of, uh, these are rank ordered by how many people are, are at that website. And so ours did pretty well there for a while. But anyway, wanted to show you this. So we'll make sure. Yeah. Um, so what you want to do is look at this latest. Oh, how do I scroll over? There we go. All right. So uh, here's the latest video at the top. And um, right now it's showing about 800 uh, views, which is good. I mean, it's, it's strong. But keep in mind that before its news had 800 people who watched it on uh, before it's news. So I should be getting credit for that. Well, uh, by the way, so it didn't. So when I put up this, so before the video ended up on this uh, hot list and before it's news, it had like 60 people almost immediately watching. I um, kept, kept watching this to see if it showed up and finally it showed up. So I took a snapshot of it. Well, then I refreshed this and it went from 650 views down to 430 views. Ridiculous. It had deleted over 200 views and it sounds like I'm complaining again, right? I don't really care. Um, I just like seeing the material grow but uh, at the same time, really good evidence that we're being shut up in, unfortunately. We have consistently have great participation and very few down arrows. And occasionally we'll get a, um, particularly when we have a big view count, 2,500 on the other solar eclipse. And that's because you guys shared it. We had two, but I mean, the ratio is still even higher of a hundred percent and very few down arrows. I don't mind down arrows. I'd rather have a comment telling me what you don't like about it. And that way I can, you know, bounce it around and massage my ideas and see if we can make this product even better. But definitely some more evidence of shadow banning, unfortunately. So what do we do? That's the question. What do we do with uh, YouTube, we know it's corrupt. They got rid of PIR and so many thousands of other great, uh, channels. So clearly they don't really care much about money. They care more about power and the agenda. So what do we do? Knowing that, do we hop over here on YouTube? Uh, I'm sorry, Rumble. Well, there's, um, 
there's just not the subscribership over here. Plus, there's problems with Rumble. I mean, it's just not a perfect thing. You guys notice that once they get rid of YouTube for, you know, this community, um, this genre of folks, not astrology I'm talking, but alternative thinkers, that we're kind of now forced to just kind of spread out amongst all the other apps, Getter and uh, BitChute and Rumble. and But I mean, on and on, there's tons of these apps. And so we're all like minimized. We're not tribal. We don't have our, con we're not connected nearly as well as we were. So that's, I think, part of the agenda. So I don't know if Rumble really is a solution, but is a great backup plan. Um, I think PIR had, before it ended its last video, last public video, went private. I think it had um, 23,000 subscribers on his channel, Phoenix did. So it can be done. We can shift it over to Rumble, uh, but what do you guys what do you guys think? What do you, do you like it? Um, I don't know. I think it will take some time to get our subscribers convinced to come over and over to rumble. Maybe their alternative apps or, uh, I don't know, just here's another account. I got to start as rumble. I don't know. And of course, um, if I do live streams, I do have to choose between YouTube or Rumble. It doesn't look like I can do both of those at the same time. One more thing. So over on Facebook, there is a notable comment. Now, here is more evidence that YouTube is censoring. Because y Yvonne, you know, I can zoom in, although I'm not going to read this whole thing. Actually, Facebook doesn't really like, it doesn't do its normal zoom in. But anyway, this is our latest part two. Um, and there's some great comments from Yvonne. Talks about human design, the dream rave. But anyway, somewhere in here, uh, maybe this is the wrong the wrong one. Let's see. I'm going to take this over here and check out, check out and see. No, that's the same one. So, so it is, it's a great long comment, but it's very descriptive of human design in our, in our exact scenario. And so adds a lot of flavor. And so I'm not going to read it here. It's just too long. But this is some amazing material that should have been on YouTube. She says somewhere in here that, hey, I tried to keep posting on YouTube and it gets deleted. Or they, or they don't show it. I can't remember the verbiage that she used. But she went over to Facebook and commented below. So that's our workaround. Um. I have tried to post this script of mine on your YouTube channel, but all the comments vanish, although they show up as additional counts. She, this is exactly what I just showed you guys. So you guys are seeing this too, where they're, they're being counted. You remember that one video I did where uh, there was a, there was a great, you know, a, a primary comment and it said one reply but you couldn't click it, you couldn't go on it. I can't go into the back office and, and find it under moderated. It's not, it's nowhere. What the hell is happening to that? And um, so this sort of clears up what's happening, at least on, from my end, that, I, that you guys are seeing the same thing. When you're com when you make a comment, it gets hidden. And I, re I only got three minutes left, so I've got to get to my next session. But hey, uh, Let's see if there's anything else I missed. I talked to, I think I got it all covered. Hey, take care of everybody. Don't live in fear. And we are together in this. And we can still have differing views, okay? It's the tribe that matters. It's, uh, it's the compassion between us, not the similar th thought, although it just happens to be fairly similar. Um, 
don't focus on who's thinking the same as me, who, who has the same interest. Be thinking the level of uh, commitment, the level of compassion, the level of understanding that an open mind is, that all of us have that uh, that produces the, the profound sense of togetherness that I think this surf community has. So anyway, give me your thoughts down below. If you find your comment hidden, go to Facebook, find us, set a, set yourself up on Facebook, National Dream Center, LLC. Find the video, comment down there and say, hey, I'm one of those that they shadow ban our com my comments for. And we're gonna, we'll get to the bottom of this with your help. All right, you take care. We'll see you shortly in just a few days next uh, Wednesday. Let's do another surf report. Take care. Namaste.